Gasoline. Liquid power to run millions of automobiles everywhere. Yet, how many know what happens to the gas after it is poured into the gas tank? Here at Lovecraft Biofuels, we convert mostly Mercedes, but really any diesel, car, generator, truck, boat to run on vegetable oil and biodiesel. A lot of people confuse vegetable oil with biodiesel. When I say vegetable oil, it's any pure 100% vegetable oil. Biodiesel is processed, so basically you're still using a refinery. It's still going to leave the oil industry involved when it all is said and done. But what the oil industry and the automobile industry are pushing for is a blend of 80% regular diesel, 20% biodiesel. And they're still calling it biodiesel, so there's a lot of room for deception in there. Man has discovered a virtually unlimited source of power. That source of power is gasoline, the chief product of the petroleum industry. A lot of people are using waste oil from restaurants and driving for free. The restaurants are being charged a dollar a gallon to have the oil hauled off, so they're very happy to give it to you to use and then you get free fuel. The reality of that is this is taking money out of the pockets of a lot of corporations and they're lobbying to stop this. If you use the new soybean oil, there's more likely going to be a lobby to support this. This will be supporting farmers. The soybean industry has a lobby and we're hoping that takes off and will help establish this on a larger scale. Vegetable oil is cheaper than any other fuel. It's cleaner than any other fuel. It's, it's grown in the United States. All of the money involved in it can stay in the U.S. economy. It's clean, cheap, and, and a, a U.S. product. If you think about it, the big rigs run on diesel. The Greyhound buses run on diesel. All heavy construction equipment runs on diesel. It's soybean oil, so when you drive the car, you're putting the same emissions out as in cooking a plate of food. It's not the engines that pollute, it's the fuel that pollutes. You put clean fuel in, you get clean emissions out. Anything with a diesel engine can be converted to run on vegetable oil and or biodiesel. The diesel has always had a reputation for efficiency and reliability. There's been a tendency to blame the diesel vehicles. It's not, they're some of the cleanest, most efficient engines ever made. It's just the fuel's dirty. Gasoline. Powerful stuff. Modern magic. This is a high flow filter. If you accidentally put dirty vegetable oil in or whatever, you, it's, it's going to take a lot more abuse before it stops your car. There's no fuel that a diesel engine can run on that won't run in our conversions. To change the filter, you basically just unscrew the ring, pop it off, put a new filter in, screw it back down. We're doing an average of four to five a day now. And uh, we're turning away about probably 10 a day. <laughs> and hopefully we won't have to do that much longer. We're, we're gearing up for it. <laughs>